my god, I hate clickbait. I hate it. Did I hate it? I hate it so much. I hate clickbait. Articles that say, See why Business Insider says these are the best sheets ever. What? Th that is exactly the kind of clickbait articles that are in this Facebook cracking down on clickbait articles. After a year in development, the perfect t-shirt has arrived. Ugh, just, you, you see them everywhere, and, you know, I don't like to click on them. I hate clicking on them. Sometimes, though, my curiosity gets the better of me. And you know what? That's what I hate about it the most, is that, you know what, you can be absolutely resolved to never go to a clickbait article, but sometimes you're just like... You just gotta know, and it plays on your curiosity so hard. For example, um, if I were to do a, a, a talk on abortion, and I were to say in the title of the video, the passage that Christians don't want you to know about abortion, boom, clickbait, you are like, whoa, whoa. Something about, or like, if he's, if I said that pastors don't want you to know, you know, it's like, wait, what do, what do, what do Christians not want us to know about abortion? And, and then you're hooked, you're hooked, and you're like, ah, oh, God. Instead, you know, it's, then the video isn't at all about what, because what the way that I would do it, it, is that if there was that was the title what the video would end up being about is a general argument for being pro-choice in my case and i'd probably reference the passage in numbers uh 5 11 through 31 uh where god basically tells people that they can force their wives to get abortions if they think that their wives are being unfaithful to them. But, you know, I, I am glad to see that Facebook is, cr is trying at least to crack down on these clickbait articles because I see them all the time. My Facebook feed is like half the... And when it's like, oh, you know, I clear out a bunch of people, I clear out a bunch of pages that I'm following. But then it's just like every... every it's, then it's in the ads. The ads are the clickbait articles now instead of, you know, people sharing things or, you know, it's the other way around or it's both. You just can't get away from them. And I'm like, oh, oh, you know, this creating incentives for publishers to post less clickbait, I think, is incredibly important. And that it's very. Ugh. There's a lot of misinformation that gets spread through clickbait. There's so much misinformation. Like, uh, sci okay, this happens with science all the time. Somebody reads, somebody gets fed old information, like really old information in, a, in an article, or somebody uh, posts a study without it being highly reviewed, and then it gets filtered down, and it comes out through places like BuzzFeed and things like that, and it becomes pop science, and it's wrong. The pop science is wrong. You know, you have to actually, it's, I know that you wanna, that people wanna condense things down and summarize it in a way that's consumable and entertaining, and they try to come up with metaphors, and they try to be like, oh my goodness, uh, fifth possible dimension discovered physics could be broken for you know change the way we look at physics forever or like uh, when when people were like neutrinos faster possibly faster than the speed of light what does this mean for physics you know it's like uh well you know when you actually figure out oh they read a measurement that said that the neutrino was slightly faster than the speed of light but you know it only happened like twice and so it could be a uh, measurement error 
And then it turns out it was. And it was like, oh, okay, neutrinos can't go fast in the light. Good to know. Good to know. You know, and there's uh, all these things. And I'm just so frustrated about clickbait and how people use it to basically just pour out their websites. You know, it, nobody ever thinks about how those article titles look. Okay, here on the side over here, we've got the see why the Business Insider says these are the best sheets ever. You know what? They're, those are like, that's from Business Insider, which I would normally consider to be a fairly good source for information. My opinion is a bit changed. Stars who were rocked by the 70s, where are they now? Okay, that's that's just a top 10 list, basically. Nine weirdest school clubs, top 10 list. Uh, these 20 family photos, top 10 list. Which, I also, I also hate list articles, because I don't think that they're real articles. I think that they're just... It's just a list. You did research, and you made a list. But what are... Nine weirdest school clubs your grandparents belong to. Okay, that doesn't. Re oh, whatever. Eh, whatever. Whatever. When was the last time that you saw a top ten list that had substantial information? You know. I mean, I think that like the most substantial things are like. I don't even know. I don't know. Countdown, countdown lists and stuff like that are, in my opinion, still fall under clickbait because the the way in which they word things is is intention. Now these, some of these are much better advertising to have. Obama comments on. Uh, commutations of basically of commu uncommuting prison sentences. All right, that that is interesting in an actual article title. Judge furious when officials send defendant to court without pants. Actually, I saw that video and it was pretty ridiculous. But you know what? That title is actually what happened. That is what happened. That's not clickbait. That is actually what happened. It is as ridiculous as it sounds. Uh, I, you know, it's... <sighs> I hate clickbait because it takes advantage of human curiosity, which is, which is like our weakness. You know, if you tell somebody that they've got something that they don't know about and you say it in a specific way what happens guess what? you'll never guess what happens next well then you'll start trying to guess what happens next and you're like oh, but i don't know if i'm right or not uh maybe i'll check just for a minute and then you get this awful like awful list okay why why are these the best sheets ever? Oh, okay, you know. Uh we're obsessed. Uh like Okay, it's a Kickstarter. Oh, okay. You know what? That's it's just it's an article for expensive sheets. You know what? don't understand it's just an advertisement for for sheets it's an advertisement for a set of sheets you know what we may get a small share of the revenue from the sale from our commerce partners business insider advertising sheets I mean, they have other, you know, had good art, good articles, but I just 
so such a large portion of news has come down it seems to clickbait you know and just it's not one it's not very professional and two it's just it preys on one of the things that's weak about us about humans in general and i think that that's uh despicable uh yeah so anyway, if you like this video, uh, like it, of course, subscribe, follow me on Twitter or Facebook at today I, slash today at facebook.com slash today I rant about or Twitter at Fenrir Grochad because that's who I am. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know how to end a video.